In this tutorial, we'll be creating a Twitter retweet bot using Python and Tweepy. The bot will retweet tweets that contain certain keywords or hashtags. Before we start, however, it's important to know that I've already set up Tweepy. If you don't have Tweepy set up, then you can watch the tutorial linked in the description or you can click the icon at the top right of the screen. Please remember to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. Also, check out my other social media to receive updates on the projects I'm currently working on. All right, so inside of Visual Studio Code, which is my code editor, we want to create a retweet bot. Now, in order to do that, we'll first of all need to get tweets to retweet in the first place, right? So we'll be using a method called streaming to receive tweets. This stream will basically listen to all incoming tweets related to the parameters that we'll set later. For now, we'll only look for tweets that contain the following hashtags, hashtag Python and hashtag programming. We'll also filter the stream so it doesn't include tweets that are retweets or replies to other tweets. So let's create our stream class. We'll type class my stream and we'll make this class inherit from Tweepy's streaming client class. Inside of this class, we need to create functions, but these are special types of functions. So for example, def on tweet is a function that gets called when the stream receives a tweet. Inside of this function, we type self and tweet. This tweet parameter will represent the tweet that the stream detects. So since we now have access to the tweet, what do we want to do with it? Well, we want to try retweeting it, but before we do that, I want to show you that the stream works. So for now, we'll just be printing the text of the tweet. So we type print tweet dot text. Outside of the class, we can create an instance of our stream object. The stream variable now represents our actual stream. Inside of the my stream class, we need to pass our Barrett token to the Barrett token parameter. Under here, we need to start the actual streaming of tweets. But we don't really want to do that just yet, actually, because we need to let the stream know what type of tweets we want first. To do that, we need to create these things called stream rules. Now, stream rules are basically rules we set that the stream needs to follow in order to find the specific tweets we want. So for our bot, we want to find tweets containing the Python and or programming hashtag. To create this rule, we can store it in a variable called rule. The actual rule itself is tweepy.streamrule and then inside the brackets an empty string. It's important to know that when creating stream rules, Twitter actually decided to have their own syntax for the string. So what I'm trying to say is the actual rule will be a string string and this string needs to be typed in a specific way. So let me just start typing and explain as I go. If I were to type hashtag Python in here alone, then the stream would return all recent tweets that contain this hashtag. If I now go ahead and add hashtag programming next to it, this means that the stream should contain both of these, which I personally don't want. So in that case, we make use of the stream rule logic operators. So to make sure we get at least one of these hashtags, we separate them with the word or in all caps. We can then put this in brackets to group them together. So basically or means or and one space means and dash means not and so if we don't want to include retweets or replies in our stream we can create another set of brackets to group these terms. We then type dash is colon retweet and one space to indicate the and operator then another dash is colon reply. This will ensure that we don't include retweets or replies in our stream. You can play around with this. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the documentation that helped me understand this. You can add as many terms in this bracket, just make sure to separate them with ORs, unless you want both or more terms in the tweet. It also doesn't need to be Python or programming. You can feel free to customize this rule as you'd like. You can also add multiple rules if you wanted. Now that we've moved on from the rule, it's time to actually add this rule to the stream. We can do this by typing stream.addRules and then passing the rule into this method. We can also add an optional parameter called dry run, and it takes a boolean value which we'll set to true. The reason we're doing this is because if we were to to run the bot and then stop running it, this rule that we've added won't go away. And so we'd have to manually delete it if we want to discard that rule. Dry run being set to true prevents this from happening. If you're happy with your final rule and you're certain you won't be deleting or changing it, then you can take away this dry run parameter, which is what we'll be doing. We can then actually start the stream by typing stream.filter. And so if we now run the bot, we'll start seeing tweets being displayed in the terminal. The cool thing is that all of these tweets follow the rules that we set above, so they contain at least least one of the hashtags and aren't replies or retweets. We can now stop the bot by killing the terminal. We now have access to the tweets and the main goal of this tutorial was to create a retweet bot. And so now, in order to retweet the tweet that we've received, we need to go back to the place where we print the tweet. Underneath this tweet, we can create a try and accept block. Inside of the try block, we can type the actual code for retweeting the tweet. That would be client.retweet and then passing the ID of the tweet we want to retweet. This would be tweet.id. In the accept 
block, we can accept exception as error. And then if any error occurs, we can just decide to print out the error we've gotten. I don't think we need this try and accept block, but just in case I added it anyway. I now have Twitter open on the one side and the bot on the other. You can see that the bot has no tweets that it's retweeted. So if I now run the bot and give it a second to start the stream, we'll start seeing tweets in the terminal that are being retweeted. So if we let that run for a while and then stop the bot by killing the terminal, we can go to the Twitter side and we can refresh this page. We can see that the bot has retweeted several tweets, all following the rules that we specified earlier. And so with all that said, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications because we'll be creating a lot more Twitter bots in the future. Also, check out my other social media and Discord for updates on the projects I'm currently working on. I hope this video was helpful and I also hope to see you in the next one.